Hi, my name is Ro. I am from the Maximum Mobile team, and today I would like to spend some time with you with the latest features and functions that we included uh, in Maximum Mobile 8.8. Uh, the ones that I'll be talking today is uh, the concept of preloaded databases and how to create them on the server. Uh, upfront download of transactional data, so allowing the end users on the mobile device to get all the data that he, he needs uh, when opening the application for the first time. Uh, the same thing for attachments, so we introduced a functionality that will allow you to download all the attachments that you have for the records that are assigned to you upfront without having the user to to do extra clicks to do to get all this data. Uh, Delta refresh for lookup data. Uh, parallel download of application zips. Uh, and the new offline maps that we included support inside Maximum Mobile 88. I'll start with uh, the setup process for the preload database. And the very first step that we have to do is to define uh, the person groups. So we leverage the existing person groups functionality from manage or maximum EAM to create groups of users that will have access to a specific preloaded database. So I'll create a simple example here. So I'll create a, a new person group for maximum mobile. Uh, this is only a group this, this group will not affect the functionality of the app that we have today. So it's not a way to grant access or revoke access to the applications that we have in running inside Maximum Mobile. This is just a logical uh, grouping for users to give access to uh, the preloaded database. The first thing that I am doing here is creating a, mob, uh, a new person group for Maximum Mobile. And as you can see here, I include the max admin as the group uh, default. Uh, so max admin is the, the default user for that specific group that I am using. This means that uh, this user, so max admin, will be used uh, to create the database, the preloaded database, uh, when we, we, we will see that process running uh, on the next steps here. but. Uh, MaxAdmin will be the one that will be used to create the preloaded database. So the data that MaxAdmin will get is will be used uh, for the other users that we include here in this same group. So in this same group, I can include several other users like Wilson or any other user that you have inside MaxMore. And all the users from this same group will have access to the database that was created using max admin or and there isn't a need to have max admin here so i just picked that as an example if you uh, want to use a different user uh, to create the preload database there's no problem with that there's no need to be max admin so let's continue this sequence is a required value and here, this is all we need. So I created the, the group and uh, we can move forward with that. The next step for the preload database is to set up the cron task. It's the cron task definition that will, will run to create this preload database on the server. So you will have to, we will do the setup defining how often this Chrome will be executed. This is the name of the Chrome is provided out of the box with Maximum Mobile. Uh, you can duplicate the one of the instances that you may have or the instance that comes out of the box. So I'm creating a new instance named Mobile DB. And I will define that to be executed every day at 1 a.m. Right, so I don't want this process to to run during the day, just to avoid that to impact on the server performance during the day, where you have more users using the server. 
and uh, the schedule of the scrum is is something that you can define based on how often your data will be changed and for this preloaded database we are talking about the lookup data so we are not including the transactional data and by lookup data we mean the records that does not change very often and will be included in this preloaded database for the end use the transactional data uh, like work orders inspections and service requests uh, those are being downloaded uh, without the preloaded database because this data is being changed very often and uh, if we include that in the database in a preloaded database it's very likely that uh, right after one hour after a couple of hours uh, this data will be up the outdated and the user will have to download again or the preloaded database will have to be regenerated again so whenever we talk about preloaded database we are talking about lookup data that will be included in this database and will be made available for end users uh, whenever they connect from the app inside Maximum Mobile. Important step here is the run as user parameter of the Chrome needs to be a user that is in one of the person group that we defined previously and this user needs to be the the full user of that specific group otherwise the Chrome will not create that preloaded database yeah you just click save uh, there are two parameters here two important parameters here the page size and thread count the pay out, out of the box the page size is set as 2000 this is used to define the amount of records that will be retrieved when we are querying Maximus database to get the the records so it's a back-end process but you have a little bit of control here on how it will be executed and a thread count so if you want more speed and more performance you can add more threads to the gen generation of this preloaded database on the server and it will create faster to you uh, the 2000 is as I said 2000 is the the full value thread count define how many threads will be used uh, the history tab of the Chrome contains a, a details of the execution of this Chrome so every time the Chrome is executed you can check when it started when it completed in case of any error or warnings we also put it there in the history tab so there will be uh, a lot of information in that history tab to l to help you as an administrator uh, to understand what's going on during this process at this point I don't have the Chrome running that will be so I'll disable the second one that was here before I'll click on reload request just to make sure that all the parameters are captured and the history tab is empty here but as an example here I'll change that to be executed every 10 seconds and we'll be able to to see that happening right now I will refresh the record just to get the latest information on the history tab. As I can see here, the Chrome is running and it started its execution. So the history tab is being populated. Uh, uh, the, the schedule that I did for every 10 seconds is something that you should not do uh, because you do not need to recreate database every 10 seconds. But the, on a daily basis, is totally fine. Uh, every one day and at 1 a.m. and every time you click on preview you can see when the crones will be executed based on the schedule that you defined and the, 
the the result of this Chrom is a preloaded database that is stored inside Maxmo database. So it's a encrypted SQLite uh, database that we store inside Maxmo's database. And this database will be, be made available for the users uh, when they come from the device connecting to the server. So whenever they open the Maxmo mobile application and connect to the server, they will get this preloaded database that we generated here and uh, the, the database will be presented for the end user using the association that we we define on the person group so anyone that is inside the same person group that we we previously created will have access to this preloaded database that is being created by the Chrome uh, in case your user is more is in more than one person group, when he opens the mobile application, he'll be prompt to select what is the the preloaded database that he he wants to download to his device. So he can the user A can be in more than one group, and he'll have access to both preload the database one per time. Uh, here in the device, I'm going to connect to that server that we were seeing. So for this example, I am going to use Max Admin uh, to log in this server and uh, to get the preload the database. I'm using saved passwords here. And you can open that with biometrics. So here I'm doing the onboarding process of the application so this is the very very first time that I am opening the server after the application installation uh, I will do all the process here uh, of the onboarding that we are already familiar with that this is not new and one important thing that will happen here is uh, the app is already communicating to the server and uh, getting all the information that is needed from the server so as you can see here, the preloaded database that we defined on the server is now being downloaded to my device. So I am holding that here uh, during the download, but the download is super fast, so it doesn't take long, and we are talking about a large data set. So uh, after the, the download is complete, we also uh, apply an encryption encryption on top of this data to make sure that your data is encrypted inside uh, the device so in case someone gets access to this device or this database that is in the device the data is fully encrypted and you will not be able to open that uh, second important thing on this release is the app download process so we have several apps that comes out of the box that works inside Maximum Mobile. And there is also the possibility to duplicate the existing apps, right? So the technician app can be duplicated or you can even create new apps from scratch. So you can create your own apps. And in order to speed up this process of downloading the data to the device, we are allowing the the applications to be downloaded in parallel mode. So I'll continue the process here and uh, as you can see the download will start to happen uh, in parallel mode and that is speeding up the the onboarding process as in this case here assist is being downloaded but as you can see the other applications download started to happen as well in parallel so it's much faster for the end user to do not have him to wait the the download of each application to happen without parallel parallelism. Uh, important thing here, I'll pause here the demo. Uh, the transactional data download. So before this release, uh, every time the user comes to the Maximum Mobile, he has to uh, open different applications the different applications that he needs to use to get the transactional data downloaded to his device. 
So there is a change now that we are defining what are the transactional data that needs to be downloaded up front. And that download process happens right after the app is open. So there is no need to jump between different applications and execute lots of clicks between the different applications. Uh, it will happen automatically for the end user and that is the idea is to speed up the onboarding, onboarding process for the end user. Continue the demo now. The data is being downloaded. So in this example here, I'm downloading data for the technician application. The name is Tech Mobile, the internal name. And um, all the work orders are being downloaded at that time. Same thing here for uh, service request data. And as you can see, the second item there is the attachments of the work orders that were downloaded. We are also downloading them up front without having the user to click on each work order and go to each attachment to have that records inside the device. So we are downloading everything up front and making it available for the end users without having him to download that inside each app. The same thing for the other application. So I'm now downloading the attachments for SAP's request and the transactional data for all the other applications are also being downloaded. Inspections as well, the transactional data for them. And by at this point in time, the user can also jump to any application. So is not locked to this screen. So we were able to complete some of the download already and he can, of the technician as application for instance, and he can go to the technician application and start to execute his work. And the existing downloads of the other apps will not be impacted. So he can jump between all the apps. So I'll, I'll continue in this screen here just to make sure that we see all everything that is happening here all the data that is being downloaded will be displayed here inside this data update page. There is a, a cloud icon with a sync badge on top of it uh, on the bottom of the, the screen. And this means that uh, data update is happening. Uh, and we indicate that in this way inside Nextwin Mobile down there in the in the footer with the cloud icon and the, the sync badge. As you can see, I have all my apps here, including the duplicated app, and these apps will have the data, all the data that we need uh, to start to work at this point. So no need to uh, wait for when we open the app, there is no need to, to to start the download process from the, from there again. And you can jump uh, and open different parts of the application. There's no need to wait everything to be completed. So as soon as I get all my work orders downloaded and everything completed, I can go to start to work with my work orders and play with them without having to wait. So this synchronization process is completed. And one thing that I'm going to do now is I just put my device in airplane mode and the device detects that, the application detects that and I have all my work orders here that were downloaded up front. And uh, all the details of the work orders will be here as well, including the attachments. So the attached records will be here. So these are two examples. The is a big PDF here that was downloaded up front for that manual for that specific pump running there that is related to that work order. Same thing for inspections. So all the inspections records were downloaded. I can, I am in offline mode now. I can play with the records, just click on start inspections. And one thing that you see down there is the cloud icon with a badge uh, saying one means that I have a pending transaction to be sent to the server since I am in airplane mode 
and the application detects that and indicates that as a badge down there in the data, uh, in the cloud icon. Uh, as soon as I get connectivity back to the server, that transaction will be sent automatically to the server, so in a transparent mode. So I'll disable the airplane mode now, and the transaction will be sent automatically to the server. And the cloud icon does not have the, the small line on top of it to indicate that you are in offline mode. 